Hello, this is Aaron Mean of SG Gaming Info, and welcome to my video preview of Quake Champions, which is currently under technical test or open beta on the PC. Now, Quake Champions is developed by id Software and published by Bethesda, and Quake Champions very much harkens back to id Software's previous Quake games in the form of multiplayer arena shooter, and this game very much is trying to do what Quake did back in 1996 and make it the premium arena shooter in the esports market. Currently in the esports in terms of shooter in terms of shooters, sorry, we have Overwatch and Counter-Strike. So let's go straight into this preview and I want to talk about champions, which are these characters that you can play in the game. Now, as you can see, I have two characters that are not greyed out, Ranger and Scale Bearer. And as you can see with Scale Bearer, there is a timer on that. And I will explain that in a few minutes. So as you can see, there's nine characters in total. I have two of them greyed out. So how do I get these other champions? Well, when I first saw this, when I was playing the technical test, yes, I was thinking yesterday, I was thinking, oh, you unlocks. Unfortunately not. They're behind a paywall because, well, Quick Champions will be a free-to-play game and it's a PC exclusive, so you will have to buy champions. Now, there's two ways to buy champions. There is with Favor and there's with Platinum. Favor, if you spend 5,000 Favor, you get to unlock it for one day. Now, to get about 5,000 Favor, that's from having zero favor to, fi to 5,000 would take about five matches, which isn't too bad. A match is about 10 to 15 minutes. So we can get about just over an hour of hmm, consecutive gameplay, which isn't too bad. But again, it's only 24 hours. That's why my scale bearer says 17 hours, 15 minutes. Now you can buy, um, buy, buy one for 500 platinum, which means you unlock forever. Unfortunately, we don't know how much 500 Platinum is. This could be anywhere between, anywhere between 5 and 20 euros. We just really don't know. And that is potentially an issue, especially with the fact you look at that each character has different base stats. So some are arguably weaker and stronger than others. Prime example of this is with Ranger, which is the champion everyone gets when they inst install the game it's your base character so all the rest had to be unlocked and as a base character its health is 100 its armor is 25 out of 75 and its speed is 320 if i look at scale bearer its health is 150 armor 25 and speed speed 300 now just from looking at the two you can arguably see scale, scale bearer is stronger especially in the health apartment, because if a ranger and a scale bear went up one-on-one, -on -one, same weapon, fired at the same time, scale bear would win because of the health. Which means, arguably, you are having an advantage if you basically buy a character in this game, which is potentially troubling. Now, they could easily fix this issue I wouldn't say easily fix it, they could alleviate it by allowing people to maybe buy all the champions at once via an ultimate, like the ultimate god pack in Smite, which allows you to buy all future and existing characters in one payment. But I feel like they're probably going to go how a lot of MOBAs work, where you basically have to buy buy them as they come in, as they go. And as a business model. It'll make money. From a balance perspective, it'll be interesting. There is also other things you can buy which in the store which are loot boxes. These are split into backpack, chest, and reliquary. Reliquary. Uh, reliquary and chests are platinum only, while backpacks can be bought with favor. Let's go through more types. And also, each type can be gained via rewards, which are can be seen here. So basically, you get six hundred kits, six 
60 kills and you get 2,000 favor. And if you, a lot of the time, if you complete a day challenge, you also might get a chest. But they're primarily for leveling up from what I can see, unless there's more difficult challenges in the future. I don't know. So what's inside loot boxes? Well, they primarily have shaders. So that's to change your character's appearance and armor pieces so it's like you have an epic set you have a rare set and you have an uncommon set and you can also mix and match the set so say if you want the rare torso i think that's yes yeah, the same one so if i go oh, i just want a uncommon headpiece with the epic torso and infantry legs I can do that and I can add a vanity piece would turn that into a shambler head and have a steel mohawk again I can change the color of that before I actually go out you can see there is weapons now this is basically just cosmetic appearances these are the weapons you start a game with no changes pickups you can change instead of when you pick picking up a heavy machine gun you get a Q3 machine gun and it's basically just an appearance change and nothing more and nothing less. Though I think that's enough talking about the in-game store and a bit of complaining about its model. Even despite the fact that we really don't know much about it. Actually before I go in I want to talk about the armor sets again. You can actually buy them themselves with shards as you can see so if i want it's 150 for a set so if i 150 shards i can buy one without having to rely on the loot box shards are basically unlocked by dismantling armor pieces and weapons you've previously gained so say if you get a duplicate in the loot box you can disassemble that and use it to purchase a piece of armor or a weapon you desire it's very much like the loot box system is very much like Overwatch and what a lot of games are doing nowadays. So let's go into a game, queue up, we have Deathmatch, Team Deathmatch and Sacrifice. There is also Duel, but you need to have three champions unlocked. I'm going to do Team Deathmatch. Now there are three maps in the game, Blood Covenant, Burial Chamber and Runes of Sarnath. They all have a very dark gothic and in some cases Lovecraftian feel especially in runes of Sarnath which has a giant ch chained eye which his pupil does it's does look around the area it's in Blood Covenant is very dark gothic cathedral and burial chamber it does have the gothic feel of Blood Covenant but is a bit more open this is the way to join a match not too bad two key points before really talk, going into the game no reloading and no regeneration health regeneration health apologies which means if you like your newer games like the call of duties you'd have to kind of relearn itself and go back in time to the 90s and sometimes the early 2000s as in those games, a lot of them were reliant on health pickups and non regeneration health. As a lot of people know, regenerating health is a very much a modern thing in games. So let's go in. So we have a choice between Blood Covenant and Burial. Let's say go Blood Covenant. And I actually want to change to my. I can never name that character instead of going Ranger. So it looks nice. Uh, team that match two foes face up against each other. Control the arena and kill your foes. Now as you can see there, it is four v four. Team that matches. If you just go into that match, it is eight eight players against each other. Now the cap sacrifice game mode is basically a capture and control style game where you basically have to capture an obelisk and feed its souls, and it's spread across three rounds so best two out of three wins I'm actually quite high level wow there's a person level 10 already so as you go into the game which will be starting now uh, 
Can I change it? No, I can't change it yet. Just okay. Go in, you can change your champion, and here we are, quick champions. Basically, uh, this is the warm up, sorry, before the game, so you can dick around with the weapons. Uh, sniper rifle, uh, lightning gun, rocket launcher, uh, nail gun, shotty, and a machine gun. So it's quite simple. It's actually kind of nice. I like this. You have like a one minute warm up before it starts. So I can. I want to try my weapons. I don't see. Press R. No reload. And that's your special, by the way. Use. I, <laughs> I, so I like that when I, this game starts, you're just going to see me dying constantly. Now, there are uh, timers that you can pick up. I'm, I'm pretty sure they help speed up the regeneration of your ability. Like it says percent. I see. Right there. Yeah, as you can see, it's kind of. You can't stop. If you stop, you're pretty much dead. As oh, I. <laughs> it's like oh, I gotta get oh, I'm dead. I am in loving and both going indifferent with the game. Mainly because I like its fast paced nature, but I'm quite of a slow player, I find. I like t going tact tactics, etc. And this game is pretty much, yeah, just run in, kill. Sorry. Yeah, you gotta kill. It's basically running and gunning. I know a lot of people like that and. To a lesser degree, yes, I like that too. But I also like a d degree of strategy too. And I suppose in the high end, there will be strategy. This is that really, I find it's just, wow, yeah, he just jumped on my rocket. And I just got killed by someone running into me. Actually, we got two people. Interesting. I was supposed to show something. Oh, you have a zoom in mechanic. I don't know why you'd want that, but. Hey, you have a zoom in mechanic. Okay, I died, so if you die, you can change champions. And you're not saying the weapon you spawn with. So you can spawn with a machine gun, shotgun, or nail gun. I'll keep with machine gun because it's a good middle range, middle of the range weapon. I find nail gun is too short range. And well, shoddy, but just not suit this. Ah, got a kill. Sweet. You also have to really pay attention to your surroundings as well, I find. It's like, this game is really, it's like, hey, it's running around, spray, shoot and spray, shoot and spray. I'm probably, someone's, someone's probably watching this going, no, you are doing it wrong, and I probably am, and I apologize if I am, but as I said at the top of this review, I'm not really a arena shooter player, and I haven't really played PC FPSs. This is pretty much my first PC FPS I've played and I like the idea of playing PC FPSs more often. I hope I do get a chance because it's more interesting I would say than playing on console. But that's me. So gameplay wise Wow I just did I just land on a landmine or something? No idea. I feel bad for my team, I think I'm the reason why we're losing. I didn't build enough speed. Let's see, like, that person kind of has an objective advantage, as I was saying with the champions. He's on a hoverboard, so he can move around quicker, which is interesting. I know the this kind of what has an advantage, what doesn't have a disadvantage advantage over will probably cause a lot of just going. Oh, you only won because you had X character. Kind of situation. Did I accidentally pick up? I 
down over or not because I just dashed it away. Oh, but there your armor pickups, by the way. You can see it with the three levels of it. You start off at the lowest level, which is 25, then you lose 50, and then 75. I can't tell if that. Oh, how did I get 200? Oh, that's because I picked up a little hazard. It's probably a big mistake. Yeah, big mistake. As you can see, that person has a quad which is the quake symbol you saw there and it basically increases your damage output quite substantially which is interesting and probably something I will, will see a lot of people fighting over in a lot of games so yeah basically to wrap a lot of this up quake champions gameplay fun business model I'm really not sure of I'd like to say I'd love the game completely, but again, I have to wait till the full game comes out. I'd like to see more maps primarily and more champions. I presume they will add m more champions over time. Although at this moment in time, it's nine champions could very well be an advantage because of people can confuse the perceived advantage of having certain characters well I accidentally died there Wait, much apologize you can see I think they'd have to really balance the champions with how it go around buying them so yeah I think if they fix that up more I will really much enjoy quick champions even though I am terrible at the game it's not something I would say don't play. I would very much say if you like arena shooters, play this. The technical test is still ongoing. I'm not 100% sure when it ends, whether it's on the Quake Champions website, the Google Quake Champions, or I think it's quake.bethesda.net. I'm not 100% sure. As I say, this is the end of this review, preview, sorry, not review, preview, because the game's not out yet and won't be out until a probably, probably late 2017, I believe. We might get more information on the release date at E3, which is next month, can you believe? Hard to believe this month is, this year is flying by. So once again, great gameplay, especially if you're a fan of arena shooters business model leaves some things to be desired uh, I actually wanted to see what would happen if I did that apparently it does kill you wait that could be a minus I don't know how you can talk to other people This segment had to be done. Oh, got a kill. Is that a kill or is that an assist? Because I swear to God that was an assist. Oh, I've had two kills this game. Hmm, well, you know. So, as I was saying, good ch I know I'm repeating myself and trying to think of other things to say. And I don't have anything else to say. And so, I will actually just end this now. And I will say thank you very much for watching. And I will show my social media outlets which is facebook.com forward slash sggameninfo and on twitter at sggameninfo and of course i have my website sggameninfo.com where i write a lot of content the latest piece of content that is on it that you might be interested in is my written review of new automata on the playstation 4 i very much did like the story characters and very much plot of the game so if you like Nero Tomter or are thinking of interested thinking of getting it, I recommend you check out that review. If you're a fan of JRPGs, etc., you will probably have already own it. Once again, this is Armin from SG Gaming Info saying goodbye. And probably dying at this very moment. Yep. I died. Goodbye.